Hey guys, Dr. Ashley here. Um, I told you that we're going to be doing a bunch of videos this month. We're going to be talking about the concept of should you stay or should you go when it comes to your career. So we're going to go way, way back in time. Um, but first, just wanted to let you know I'm going to be sharing a lot of my story and wanted you to know that you can tune in every day around four. I can't promise it's going to be live every day because I'm working this month in the, the nursery and there's, if you, I know you have friends that have birthdays in July, right? It's always very busy. So I can't promise that it'll be live, but there will be a video every day at four. So tune in here. So anyway, we're going way back to start this story to graduation week. Um, so this was the week that I was graduating from medical school and there was a lot going on. Obviously people are doing all these parties and like goodbye um, festivities. Um, everyone's got family in town. So I've got like my parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents are all visiting to kind of um, say hi and see what Nashville's about. Um, and there's just all these different things that you have to do. You have to pick up, pick up things and give back scrubs and all there's all these things going on because it's the very end of medical school. And so I'm going to all these things, trying to get everything done, trying to have a good time and enjoy the last, the last bit of my summer, my very last summer ever, right? Because I'm about to start officially working and I'll never get one again. So the only problem is there's a lot going on and I'm doing a lot of things and everything's fun. But the only problem is I just, I don't really feel good. A couple of times, I mean, pretty much every day, I'll just kind of like, almost, I feel like I need to go take a nap. Like I'm, I just get really tired, start getting a headache. And, um, I don't know. I mean, I've had a cold this whole week and I've been coughing a bit and I really wasn't thinking much of it. Just taking some, some cough medicine and trying to keep going. But, um, it is weird how much it's kind of getting in my head. And one day and I'm about to go to like the Christian doctor ceremony. And I just remember sitting in my car and being like, gosh, like, do I have a fever or something? Like, why do I feel so hot? And then I just decided, you know, I think the car is just hot. Let me just get myself together and take a deep breath and go finish this ceremony and get it done. So anyway, so go to graduation morning. It's kind of a similar thing. I'm trying to get my hair straight, which is quite a, quite a, uh, quite an ordeal from, from this state, obviously. Um, and I'm just, I mean, it's really hot in my room that morning. That's all I remember trying to get my hair straight and being like, why is it so hot? But it's May, it's like 95 degrees outside. So we go and start lining up for graduation stuff and we're supposed to wear all this graduation regalia. There's this big heavy gown and this hat and all these things. Um, so I pulled a uh, page from my scrapbook because I like scrapbooking. Um, and so you can see my classmates are like wearing all of this stuff, but this is me and this is my friend Miranda and we're like, guys, it's 95 degrees out here. You're crazy. How are you wearing, like, this is literally velvet right here. Like, how are you wearing this stuff? And they're like, this is our one and only chance. We've got to take advantage. And we're like, nope, you're crazy. Just take the picture without it. We'll get to, <laughs> we'll put it on later at the ceremony when it, when it truly matters. So I didn't really think much of that either. But anyway, so... We, um, so, so the day goes on, we get through graduation and um, some other things happen after that. But at this point, if you are a medical person, I want you to kind of tell me what diagnosis do you think I have? Um, if, okay, if you know me and you're like my friend, do not put what the diagnosis is, okay? If you, if you wanna guess, that's fine. But tomorrow we'll come back and talk about what I actually got diagnosed with after graduation. But real quick, I did want to just say um, ap just an application for your life. The hard thing about this week was I was so tired, but I really wanted to celebrate. And I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. I think far too often we don't celebrate the things that we have accomplished and the places we have gone. Um, I think the first time I actually got to celebrate with my friend Miranda, we had just finished taking step one we didn't even have our scores yet. Something about medicine, medicine takes so long to give you your, it's a multiple choice test. You should be able to tell me the score by the end of the day, but no, it takes like three or four months. So we'd taken that, we'd studied for months, we'd taken this big test, didn't even have a, a, a yes or no if we'd passed it, but we all went to Destin and we all celebrated that we'd put in the time, we'd put in the effort, we'd put in the hard work, um, and we're hoping that we passed, right? 
Um, and I think that's a really important thing to hold on to. Whatever it is that you're going through right now in your career, in your life, there are gonna be hard things that like keep you from being able to do something 100% or there are gonna be setbacks that kind of make you feel like you're kind of not where you wanna be. But celebrate what you do have. And maybe that doesn't look like all that much today, but maybe it looks like friends and family who are willing to celebrate with you, right? Maybe it looks like you're not, you're not sure exactly what the next step is gonna be or you're not sure exactly um, you're not sure exactly if you're going to walk out this opportunity that you've been dreaming of since you were a kid, but celebrate the time, celebrate the, the effort that you've put in and celebrate whatever it is that you do have today. Okay. So we're going to go out on this. This is the song that we celebrated too. This is the song, one of the songs my band did. So don't forget to celebrate and have a little bit of fun. Um, and don't stop whatever it is you're doing with your career. You can do it. And tune back in here tomorrow. And we will go on with the story and figure out what actually happened after graduation. All right. Have a good one.